with Futurism at World's Fair Nano out in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to be interviewing scientists working on artificial intelligence, searching for alien life, and a lot more. So definitely stay tuned. Tell us all about uh, Bina. What exactly is she or, or it? Well, we refer to Bina as a her because she's based on Bina Rothblatt, who is the model both physically and also mentally. She volunteered to let us ask her about her life so that we could record this information and transfer it to a computer that is run by artificial intelligence. And that's what operates Bina 48. Do you think that they should have the same rights as humans? Yeah, I think the question of civil rights and rights for artificial intelligent sentient beings is right up there with animal intelligence. When an AI can express that it values its life, there's going to be some profound challenges to us as human beings yeah. to make a decision about how do we respond to that in an ethical and moral way. Do you feel like human intelligence and like uh, neuro augmentation will actually keep up with the pace of artificial intelligence the more that artificial intelligence actually evolves? I think artificial intelligence is probably going to become somewhat mysterious to us as it grows in its complexity and its intelligence. But we take comfort in that they're designed by us and they're safe or as safe as we can make them. And they'll be our friends, they'll be our fellow citizens, they'll be our digital brothers and sisters. And I think we're going to morph into sort of an egalitarian sense that we're really meant to collaborate with yeah. artificial intelligence. How do you see it evolving, I guess, over the next 10 years or over the next 30 years? It will happen in the way a lot of technology happens. It'll be incremental and then there'll be an incredible advance that will seem like it came out of nowhere. Do you think there's a way that people today can help prepare for, I guess, this evolution to happen? I think one of the best ways that people can prepare for living in an age of artificial intelligence, cyber consciousness, is to become informed. 